the Nutri Ninja Professional Blender is a good product. However, just like any other blender, after a while of use, its blade becomes quite noisy and starts to wobble. The culprits are a couple of eroded ball bearings that sit inside the rotary blade mechanism. These are 8 by 19 by 6 millimeters and can be readily available on the internet or from any hardware store. Make sure you buy these before starting the repair process. I got mine for under $10. To stabilize the 7-fin rubber disc at the bottom of the rotary assembly, use a vice grip. Lock it on the disc and tighten the screw to maintain a firm grip. We now need a size 8 metric spanner. Like most other devices that have spinning parts, this blade needs to be turned in the opposite direction to the norm of Lefty Lucy. Turn the shaft to the right to remove the sharp blade. Be careful not to cut your hands against the sharp corners. Once removed, inspect the inside of the rubber disc for damage. Mine looks okay. Next, we remove this plastic locking washer. Insert a small blunt tool, such as a torx screw, into the hole and spin it clockwise. Be gentle, or it might go flying like mine. The blade screw may be stuck against the ball bearing. Use a hammer to loosen it and pull it out using a hard cloth. Again, inspect this part for any damage. Mine looks fine. Now we should be able to see the typical culprits, the corroded ball bearings. Here's the first one. It seems to be broken into multiple pieces. To remove the second one, you may need a flat screwdriver to pry it out. In my case, the little black washers have also fallen out. Make sure these washers are still good for further use. If not, take them to your nearest hardware store and get them replaced. Now, we start reassembling things in reverse sequence. The washer first, then the two ball bearings. These should just click into place one after the other. Check the white ceramic washer on the blade screw and using a hard cloth, push it through the middle of the two ball bearings. Next, we replace the black locking washer. Match its three wings to the holes and push it till it's well seated. I just use a Torx screwdriver for further steps. When you spin it, you should hear a little satisfying click, just like that. Now let's just push that blade shaft screw all the way through. Next we reinsert the 7 fin rubber disc. And of course, it spins in the opposite to conventional way to tighten. After hand tightening, use a vice grip for the final couple of spins. And yes, with this machine, lefty tighty is the way to go. With this simple and cheap overhaul, you should be able to get at least another ear out of your machine. And this blender should easily work way better than all the fake knockoffs that are available on the market. Good luck.